in class, we're going to be starting a new project. Um, putting flowers onto black paper with oil pastels, which is right here. First, I want to talk a little bit about our pencils. Um, just so that you know at home that all pencils are not equal. Sometimes they'll have a number. Usually they do. This is a 4B, that which means that's a soft pencil. Here's a 12B. I don't know if you can see the 12. Good grief, it's upside down. Turn it around that way. Yep. And 12B. So, the larger the number, the softer the pencil. So just remember that. Uh, you can have any kind of pencil. They even make pencils that are uh, water soluble. This is also a 12B. But I'm going to show you a quick little trick now on how to take an image and to get it onto your black paper without much trouble. So, a lot of artists use this little trick and so I'm going to show it to you. The first thing you want to do is turn your image over onto the back and you want to take one of your soft pencils. So I'm going to go ahead and try this 12B and you're just going to rub some graphite on the back of your picture. Now you could use carbon paper but let's do it the old way before they had carbon paper. They actually do make a white carbon paper, which might be easier to use. get your black paper um, there's you can I want you to feel it now you can get construction paper if you can't get this black paper if you don't want to come to the school and pick it up but there's two sides to it there's one that's a little more toothy has a little bit thicker texture and the other one is very smooth for this project I've learned that you want to use the smoother side I'm going to be able to hold the oil pastels much more easily. So then you lay your picture onto, let me get this adjusted, onto your black paper. And then you're going to get uh, another pencil and you're just gonna trace over your lines. If you want to, you can tape your paper together so that you might want to tape the paper onto your drawing paper so that it doesn't move and so that you can check it. So I'm going to hold this very securely with my left hand and see if it's coming through. It's just barely, but it's there. So I'm going to keep going.
I hold this up, you're going to see that the image is just barely there. Uh, you're probably going to need a good light, but hopefully you can see it. And then you're going to go back over it with the white oil pastel. So, um, at school we have these oil pastels. They are water soluble, which means that they will thin with water. Um, they're okay. I have had better that had more pigment in them, but they'll work for this project. So in our set, we have 12 different colors, which is about the same thing I would use if we were doing painting. So you're gonna have these 12 colors, including the white. Now my white is kind of thick because I've been using it, but I'm going to go over all of my lines now with this 